Governor Mike DeWine and leaders of the Ohio Department of Natural Resources celebrated Bird Ohio Day by opening the newly renovated McGee Marsh Visitation Center. NBC 24 Sutton Dunavant was at the event and has more information on that celebration. The groups joined together to unveil the newly renovated McGee Marsh Visitation Center. Leaders said this new center will give people a base knowledge about what they will see while birding. It was fitting that the newly renovated McGee Marsh Visitation Center opened on Bird Ohio Day and on the biggest week in American birding. You can go in this visitor center, learn about all of the beautiful birds who frequent uh, this area. I mean, this is McGee Marsh. This is the warbler capital of, of the world. The new visitation center welcomes birders and visitors to the McGee Marsh and lets them learn about the different birds they will see before heading out on their own. So this is a place where visitors can come. They can learn a little bit about what they're going to see through the binoculars once they head out to the boardwalk. They can see replicas of all the warblers they can expect to see. They can learn about the history of the area, the history of conservation. Um, it's just it's a great place for them to stop in, get some education, feel welcomed feel like they've learned something and then move on to see the great outdoors. With more than 90,000 birders visiting the area each spring, the area brings more than $40 million annually to the economy. And people from all over the world come right to Northwest Ohio to bird. If you talk about, uh, you know, what makes Ohio great, uh, McGee Marsh is one of the places that makes Ohio great. Um, there's so much to do in Ohio. The quality of life is, is, is so good. We have all the amenities of our big cities, but we also have within a, you know, a short drive from, from Cleveland, short drive from Toledo. Uh, you can be right out here. You, could see the birds. Mary Mertz, the director of the Ohio Department of Natural Resources, said the renovation has been a long time coming and seeing the birders visit the new center and gear up to go birding together was a humbling experience for leaders. Because the future of conservation in the state lies in the hands of the people. So they need to understand it, they need to experience it, they need to be part of it, and I think that's what we're accomplishing with this. Reporting in Oak Harbor, Sutton Donovan, NBC 24 News.